Hi guys, on this video we're gonna dive into Kachi OS Hyperland as well as guiding you on how to install Cools Hyperland that's into it. Kachi OS is a Linux distro based on Arch Linux. They have made great a lot of effort in tweaking their kernel and packages to get the most performance out of it. I've been hearing a lot about Kachi OS for quite some time now and I didn't really bother checking or digging deeply into it. I checked out their Hyperland build a couple of months ago but I didn't really bother installing on my system. However, after installing my Kachi OS on my desktop a few days ago, I was really amazed since my system felt a bit snappier. And when I run Geekbench, I was simply in awe. Geekbench core succeeds over my Arch Linux as well as my Gen 2. And because of that, I have switched to Kachi OS kernel on my Gen 2 and also on my Fedora. But this is not about Kachi OS kernel. Moving on, installing Kachi OS is pretty straightforward using their default Calamares installer. If you have already experienced with Kachi OS and wanted to install cool stats, I do, I do highly recommend you to install the no desktop build. But for this video, we're going to check out first Kachi OS own theming on Hyperland. Later on, I will guide you on installing cool Hyperland DATS. So the first thing that you may notice after you boot in, after installing Kachi OS or Hyperland is the vanilla no theme in their login manager SDDM. I mean, Kachi OS don't have SDDM theme at least, on their, even on their Plasma build. I don't know. Kachi OS Hyperland is really a meh. It's like they don't really want to theme at all. It's pretty basic. You got the waybar and also raw field launcher. As you can see, I was trying to figure out the keybinds and shortcuts. And you notice also that the raw fee up launcher is also very basic. Anyway, as you may see, I tried to change to Kiri. I also installed Tunar and mousepad so I can easily navigate to their keybinds and settings. Well, that's enough. Let's install Cools Hyperland that's using Arch Hyperland install script. Before running script, you should remove Mako first since Mako is interfering Sway and C. Sway and C is a notification daemon to replace Mako. When removing Mako, you should also include Kachi OS Hyperland settings since Kachi OS Hyperland settings sets Mako as a dependency. Don't worry, this package is not needed on a cool Hyperland DATS and it will not break your system. Installing cool DATS using Hard Hyperland is pretty straightforward. You can either clone the GitHub manually and run the commands as per readme or just simply copy the commands and paste on a terminal. After you run the script, it is best not to run the or not to choose to accept the preset.sh unless you review the preset.sh and answer it correctly by changing yes or no and so on. Since I don't have the video on my system, I will choose no to it. And since we have already SDDM installed, we will also opt to install SDDM. Later on, you will be asked to install the custom SDDM team. Since we are also not installing on an ROG, ROG laptop, I will choose no into it. 
Now depending on your system and internet connection, installation may take some time. Based on my experience, it takes about 5 minutes, maybe 7 minutes. Later on, script will ask you simple yes and no questions. And from time to time, it will also ask you to type in your password. Once installation is complete, you simply just need to reboot your system. And voila, there you go. Once you boot into cool separate and that's, you can simply just click the hint button to guide you to navigate on the cool stats. Kindly check out the FAQ and link to Hyperland that's wiki. I will put it on the description down below. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. This will greatly help me out. Please don't also don't forget to click stars on my GitHub page and projects. Thank you for watching. Take good care. Until next time. Bye bye.